The Australian Institute of Architects 2022 Newcastle Architecture Awards are proudly supported by the New South Wales Chapter's major event partner, ALSPEC, as well as the Institute's national corporate partners, Bluescope and Torbmans, Dulux and Brickworks, Bondor, Lysart, Fielders and Bosch, Built Environment Channel and NBS, Land Cover and Architecture Media. Well, hello everyone and welcome. I'm Viv O'Connell and it's a pleasure to be your host once again as we celebrate great works of architecture across the Newcastle region. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of Newcastle, the Awabakal and Waramai peoples, and I pay respect to Elders past, present and emerging. Well, Newcastle is once again kicking off the Australian Institute of Architects annual awards program, regarded as the most prestigious in Australia's design and construction industry. We'll be seeing projects from across 11 categories today, from commercial, educational and public buildings to urban design, small project architecture and heritage, as well as sustainable, interior and of course, residential architecture. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Institute's national corporate partners, including major partner Bluescope, supporters of the Colourbond Award for Steel Architecture. And we'll be hearing from Hazel Derrett for tonight's announcement. Welcome to major partner Torbmans in their inaugural year supporting the Institute and the awards program. And I'd also like to acknowledge the New South Wales chapter's major event partner, ALSPEC, and I look forward to introducing Ross Bainham a little later on in the show for the announcement of the Newcastle Architecture Medal. But now to get underway, I'd like to hand over to Phoebe Glanville, Newcastle Division Co-Chair of the New South Wales Regional Committee. Hello, I'm Phoebe Glanville and I'm the Co-Chair of the Regional Division Committee for the Institute of Architects. I'd like to personally welcome you all to the 2022 Newcastle Architectural Awards. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the commitment and thank the awards jury who visited all the projects over a two day period, a task that is both challenging and time consuming, yet ultimately rewarding through a detailed exposure of all the projects. Thank you to jurors Lindsay Johnson, Murray Wood and Kalina Sparks. The Newcastle Architecture Awards Program is an opportunity to recognise and advocate for architects and architecture outside of major cities. It is vital to the region's growth and development that we demonstrate and showcase the diverse and outstanding architecture in the region. As we venture into the third year of a global pandemic, I must make note of the ever-changing landscape and influences that this is having on our workplace and the construction industry. Although we had a lower number of submissions this year, the quality was high throughout all categories. Higher numbers in urban design, multi-residential and education reflect the Hunter's growth, changing demographics and community needs. I would like to thank everyone who submitted a project in this year's awards and I wish all the applicants good luck. This is a very exciting time for the future of architecture in our region. Thank you. Thanks so much, Phoebe. And to give us a sense of what was involved in assessing the projects this year, I'd like to hand over to Lindsay Johnson, the 2022 Newcastle Awards Jury Chair. Thank you, Viv. It has been a pleasure to join with my jury colleagues to judge the 2022 Newcastle Architecture Awards. We visited every entry located in Newcastle, Hunter Valley, Lake Macquarie, Port Stephens, the Mid-North Coast and the Central Coast. There are many facets to assessing design excellence which encompass response to the science brief, what Vitruvius described as firmness, commodity and delight, and the consideration of culture, context, place, climate and environmental performance, and the ability to enrich the life of the inhabitants of the buildings and those that work in the buildings. My role as chair of the jury has been to invite diverse views from the other jurors and to reach consensus, which sometimes was the basis of robust discussion, I must say. 
of major importance has been the ability of the architects to develop a good relationship with the project clients, whether private homemakers, commercial developers, or public authorities, and to bring together the results that hold true to the client's aspirations while negotiating the criteria of local planning authorities. Thank you to all the clients and to those who generously welcomed us to view the buildings. Thank you to all the architects who submitted their projects. Often only we architects can appreciate the effort and commitment that is involved in seeing these projects through to realisation. So well done, everyone. Now it is time to have a look at the entrance. Thanks, Lindsay. Well, the first round of entrance covers the categories of commercial, educational and sustainable architecture. Let's take a look at the entrance. Kingsley by Crystal Brook Collection by EJE Architecture. The Pangolin by Fabric Architecture Studio. ING Wyong by CKDS Architecture. Nihon University, Newcastle Campus by DWP Design Worldwide Partnership with Azusa Sekei. St Mary's Catholic College, Gateshead, Stage 2 Administration Building by Quino Hanlon Architects. Q Building, the University of Newcastle by EJE Architecture. SPCC Cessnock Senior Building by Shack. And Catherine McCauley Catholic Chapel by Weber Architects. Well, a great range of projects in the first three categories. And we'll begin with the announcements for commercial architecture, where the jury have awarded a commendation to The Pangolin by Fabric Architecture Studio. The jury describes The Pangolin as an architectural statement. Precise detailing of the steel-edged entry, use of zinc shingles and ambient lighting invite intrigue, while the retained original gate acknowledges its past. Congratulations, Fabric Architecture Studio. And an award for commercial architecture goes to Kingsley by Crystal Brook Collection by EJE Architecture. EJE Architecture have seamlessly bridged the fine balance of restoring an historic building while transforming the ex-administration building into Newcastle's first luxury five-star hotel. The glass-encased rooftop connects the view over the city to the heads beyond for the first time. Kingsley now enters a new chapter of its life, contributing to the metamorphosis of the Civic Precinct. Congratulations, EJE Architecture. Moving on to educational architecture, where the jury have given an award to SPCC Cessnock Senior Building by Shack. This educational facility aims to strengthen feelings of respect and independence amongst the students, where they can embrace their learning opportunities. Ground floor classrooms with glazed walls slide open onto the grass playing fields that welcome fresh air and a connection with nature, while inventive learning spaces on the upper floor invigorate programmed or self-directed learning. The jury applauds this bright environment that will inspire a thirst for studying. Congratulations, Shaq. And now on to interior architecture. Let's take a look at the seven projects in the running. Kingsley by Crystal Brook Collection by EJE Architecture with Suede Interior Design. The Lair by Ode Studio with Ash Greenaway. SDA by SDA. Vamp also by SDA. Catherine McCauley Catholic Chapel by Weber Architects. Lake Macquarie City Council Administration Office Fit Out by EJE Architecture. And Local Connections at the University of Newcastle by Tonkin Zilika Greer Architects. And the jury have awarded a commendation for interior architecture to VAMP by SDA. 
The Vamp Fit Out design has divided the clinic into zones, curating a selection of spaces that are open and commodious, along with rooms that are private yet welcoming. Congratulations, SDA. And accommodation for interior architecture is also awarded to The Lair by Ode Studio with Ash Greenaway. This project brings together a collaborative team of creatives to achieve a space that expresses the vision and aspirations of Ash Greenaway, a local fashion designer and manufacturer. The retail space poses a quiet ambience and an inviting aura. Congratulations to Ode Studio and Ash Greenaway. And an award for interior architecture goes to Kingsley by Crystal Brook Collection by EJE Architecture with Suede Interior Design. Already acknowledged in the commercial architecture category, the jury also commends the beautiful interiors of Kingsley by Crystal Brook, which help realise the building's unrivalled and radiant potential. The double height lobby is one of spaciousness with mirrored walls and sculpted ceilings to feet, paying homage to the architectural form and volume. Drapery softens the hard edges and branding motifs are subtly massaged into the furnishings. Congratulations to EJE Architecture and Suede Interior Design. And the jury have also given an award for interior architecture to Lake Macquarie City Council Administration Office Fit Out by EJE Architecture. The revamped council fit out boldly transforms a traditional local government office into a contemporary cooperative workspace that embraces a progressively flexible work culture, advancing technologies and strong ESD principles. The jury was impressed by the clever zoning that's resulted in more efficient spaces, boosting connectivity and allowing staff to work in an environment that's most compatible with daily tasks. Congratulations once again to the team at EJE Architecture. Well, coming up, we have the announcements for small project architecture, heritage, urban design and public architecture. But first, a quick message from major event partner, Alspec. Well, the next categories are small project architecture, heritage, urban design and public architecture. There are seven projects in the running, let's take a look. Domestic Violence Court Advocacy Service Mock Courtroom by Outfit. Nihon University Newcastle Campus by DWP Design Worldwide Partnership with Azusa Sekei. Kingsley by Crystal Brook Collection by EJE Architecture. Newcastle East End by SJB. Newcastle Station and Public Domain by Conrad Gargett. Catherine McCauley Catholic Chapel by Weber Architects. And Tunkari Museum and Golf Facility by Michael Fox Architects. We'll begin with small project architecture, where the jury have awarded a commendation to Domestic Violence Court Advocacy Service Mock Courtroom by Outfit. This robustly functional structure helps familiarise clients of Newcastle Women's Domestic Violence Court Advocacy Service with the courtroom environment prior to their hearings. The jury commends the clear purpose, planning and thinking evident in this compassionate and inclusive environment for survivors of domestic abuse and their families. Congratulations to the team at Outfit. 
And in the category of heritage, the jury have given a commendation to Nihon University Newcastle Campus by DWP, Design Worldwide Partnership, with Azusa Sekei. The restoration of the former Newcastle Courthouse, a fine example of late Victorian classical architecture, deftly strikes a balance between respecting the heritage building and embodying a fresh, unobtrusive design that looks forward to the future. Congratulations to the design team. In the category of urban design, the jury have awarded a commendation to Newcastle Station and Public Domain by Conrad Gargett. Following the closure of the railway to Newcastle Station, this project gives it a new lease of life and restores it as a place of significance, a thriving community hub for recreation, business, shopping, events and other endless possibilities. Congratulations to Conrad Gargett. And an award for urban design goes to Newcastle East End by SJB. This four-stage master plan that includes four complete urban blocks in Newcastle city centre recognises the scale and intricacy of urban spaces and the scale of the varied buildings around which they're formed. With rejuvenation and restoration at its core, the apartments in Stage 1 have been designed to retain key heritage elements, produce a village atmosphere that respects the past, while delivering 28,000 square metres of residential, retail space and a hotel. Congratulations, SJB. And in the category of public architecture, the jury have given an award to Tunkurry Museum and Golf Facility by Michael Fox Architects. This beautifully detailed public building sensitively provides a relationship between the new clubhouse and an enduring typology, respecting the heritage contents. The scale has been carefully considered to ensure it does not dominate the landscape, but rather resides peacefully within it, while the use of recycled materials speaks throughout the fabric and its connection to the natural environment. Congratulations, Michael Fox Architects. We're about to move on to the residential architecture categories and to say a few words I'd like to hand over to the New South Wales Chapter President Laura Coburn who sent through this message. Thanks Vivian and good evening everybody. I'd like to start by congratulating the winners of this evening's awards, those that have been announced and those yet to be announced. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to start our national awards program here with the Newcastle Awards. And I do hope to see that the recipients of this evening's awards do an opt-in for the New South Wales Chapter Awards, which will be live streamed on the 1st of July. Please tune in and check it out. The Newcastle Division is an incredibly important part of the New South Wales Chapter, and we're very thankful to be able to showcase the work that happens in the Newcastle, Hunter and Central Coast regions. I'd like to thank this year's jury, Lindsay Johnson, Murray Wood and Kalina Sparks for their time and deliberation and the Institute staff who have made tonight's awards possible. So I wish you luck and I wish you a good evening wherever you are and that you are celebrating. And now let's look at the next round of entrants in this year's awards. Thank you and back to you Viv. Thanks so much Laura. And now, yes, let's take a look at the four projects entered in the residential architecture categories. Newcastle East End Stage 1 by SJB, Durback Block Jaggers and Tonkin Zilika Greer. Foreshore Apartments by EJE Architecture. Hamilton Garden House by MSDS. And Corimbia by Human Spaces by Jill Gleave Architecture. Four great projects there and we have two announcements in these categories. An award for residential architecture multiple housing goes to Newcastle East End Stage 1 by SJB, Durback Block Jaggers and Tonkin Zilika Greer. This monumental development of 212 apartments is notable in the collaboration by three separate architectural practices who tirelessly co-acted as a team, 
resulting in an imaginative urban intervention of varied architectural languages. Grounded on an interrogation of the texture of the townscape and the various architectural styles that precede it, their sensitivity to the intricacies of the environment has delivered places of delight and architectural accomplishment. Congratulations, SJB, Durback Block Jaggers and Tonkin Zilika Greer. And the jury have given an award for residential architecture houses new to Hamilton Garden House by MSDS. Set in the sprawling suburbs of Newcastle, this project replaces a dysfunctional project home, achieving understated sophistication by prioritising experience of space over quantity and ostentation. The jury was impressed by the concise planning around a northern courtyard, which fills the space with light, and describes the result as a serene, seamless and effervescent home environment. Congratulations, MSDS. And now to the Colourbond Award for Steel Architecture, supported by the Institute's major partner, Bluescope. made by Australia. And to say a few words and introduce the recipient of the Colourbond Award for Steel Architecture, it's my pleasure to hand over to Hazel Derrett from Bluescope. Thanks, Viv. Hi, everyone. My name's Hazel Derrett and I am the Bluescope Specification Manager for New South Wales and the ACT. The jury considered two exceptional projects for this year's Colourbond Steel Award for Steel Architecture. Q Building, the University of Newcastle by EJE Architecture and Catherine McCauley, Catholic Chapel by Weber Architects. I'm delighted to announce that the Colour Bond Steel Award for Steel Architecture goes to Catherine McCauley, Catholic Chapel by Weber Architects. Congratulations to the team at Weber Architects. Thank you. The jury was struck by the bold, regular form of the chapel with its transparent corner elements defined by the steel truss frame, visible externally as a frame for the perforated shading screens and internally as a feature within the congregation space. The architectural expression of this dramatic, large column-free span over the chapel relies closely on the structural capabilities of colour-bond steel. This fine edge detailing, combined with a large white floating roof, creates a strong identity from the street and forms an integral part of the ecclesiastical symbolism of the building. Congratulations, Weber Architects. And now to the final award of this evening, the Newcastle Architecture Medal, which recognises the best overall contribution to Newcastle architecture. And to make the announcement, I'd like to hand over to Ross Bainham from the New South Wales Chapter's major event partner, Alspec. Thanks, Viv. Hi, everyone, and congratulations to all of tonight's winners and to everyone that's entered into this year's Newcastle Awards. Alspec is an Australian-owned, forward-looking company. We specialise in all things aluminium, residential and commercial windows and doors, aluminium cladding, shower screens, security screens, and much, much more. We work in-house to design, develop and test reliable aluminium systems, hardware and accessories to meet our ever-evolving market needs. With one of our many branches right here in Newcastle and operating in New South Wales for almost 50 years, it's safe to say we're well-trusted in this industry. Our investments in research and our people enable us to continuously expand our product range while delivering the highest levels of service and support. We're delighted to be the major sponsors of tonight's award and to be supporting the architectural profession. And now the announcement we've all been waiting for, the winner of this year's Newcastle Architecture Medal. The medal goes to Newcastle East End Stage 1 by SJB Durback Block Jaggers 
and Tonkin Zalaika Greer. Congratulations. The jury considers that the secret to effectively reinvent a city is to reinvent the processes that bring new places to fruition. With this in mind, the Newcastle East End Stage 1 development is significant as it strikes the balance between land uses, community expectations and market realities. It provides an excellent illustration of how other urban regeneration projects along Hunter Street should come along and provides a starting point for an increasingly extensive network of pedestrian paths that will no doubt cultivate into a vibrant city centre. In doing so, it is a most worthy recipient of the 2022 Newcastle Architecture Medal. Congratulations once again to SJB, Durback Block Jaggers and Tonkin Zilaika Greer. Congratulations once again to SJB, Durback Block Jaggers and Tonkin Zilaika Greer and thanks so much for that announcement, Ross. And that concludes this evening's announcements. I'd like to congratulate all the recipients and indeed all the entrants in this year's awards program. It's great to be able to recognise and celebrate your contribution to the greater Newcastle area. And you can find out more about tonight's projects, including the full jury citations on the Institute's website. Now, if you're an Institute member, please keep an eye out for the Newcastle Regional Roadshow, which will be held on May the 13th followed by a celebration of the Newcastle Awards. You'll find more information about this event on the Institute's website. And, as I mentioned earlier, tonight marks the very beginning of the Australian Institute of Architects 2022 Awards Program. From early June, we'll be coming to you live with the State and Territory Awards, including, of course, live crosses to the winners. The New South Wales Awards will be streaming on the 1st of July and you'll find the schedule on the Institute's website. I hope you can join me for what will be another great celebration of Australian architecture right across the country. I'd like to take this opportunity to once again thank the Institute's national corporate partners and thanks again to the New South Wales chapter's major event partner, Alspec. In the meantime, thanks for joining me and have a great evening. The Australian Institute of Architects 2022 Newcastle Architecture Awards are proudly supported by the New South Wales Chapter's major event partner, Alspec, as well as the Institute's national corporate partners, Bluescope and Torbmans, Dulux and Brickworks, Bondor, Lysart, Fielders and Bosch, Built Environment Channel and NBS, Planned Cover and Architecture Media.